Hi everyone and thank you for tuning in to our first real YouTube video. The video we're going to do today is of our TM Delta pen kit. The TM Delta is a slim twist ballpoint pen. It's two parts, it features an 8mm barrel, but most importantly it features the Parker style refill that we've come to love in a lot of our pen kits. I'm going to keep it simple, I'm not going to try and rabble on too much. I hope you enjoy it. Any questions, drop us a message in the comments, send us an email, pick up the phone and give us a ring. Thank you. Okay, so with all our British made turn between centre bushes that we supply with our Taylor's Murfield kits, um, you'll see there is a 60 degree indent on the back edge. Now with the Delta kit, you'll be supplied with four bushes, three of which are the identical diameters. One is fractionally smaller. This one measures 10 millimetres. The larger three measure 10.6 millimetres. Now, whilst that's a very small difference in size, it's important when assembling because the nib section is fractionally smaller than the centre band and the clip end. Now, I'm going to turn the nib section first using the small bushing in one end and one of the larger bushes in the other end you'll see that I turn between centres, which doesn't involve a mandrel, which is ideal for people who are starting out who don't want to spend on a mandrel, just want to give it a try. Okay, so we've moved over to the lathe. You'll see from the uh, image that we have a two more taper dead centre, acting as the drive in the headstock. We have a 60 degree live centre in the tailstock. And all we're going to simply do is marry up the ends of the holes and so on. This now replaces the need for a mandrel. Um, you'll see as I start the lathe up it will run perfectly true up to the desired speed that we require. So you'll see now that we've uh, we've turned the blank down very close down to the bushes. Um, what I will do now is I will just use my um, square end carbide um, just to see if I can shave a little bit off. I can still feel a little bit of a little bit of a step there. Um, some of that will come with the sanding, but I don't want to sand it too much. So uh, I'm just going to give a little scrape on that end just to try and take that step out and then we'll be ready to go to sanding. Okay, so I'm quite happy with that. Um, I now need to move on to giving it a quick sand, starting at about 320 grit, moving up to about 600 grit. Now, what I will do is I'm gonna take these bushes out of the blank now and just put the blank directly between centers. What this will do is it will avoid any accidental abrasion of the bushes, which sometimes with the lighter blanks will leave you with a discoloured end to your blanks. So by taking it off your bushes and just doing it between centres, you'll avoid some of that risk. So one thing that some people fail to do um, when sanding blanks is they rely on the rotational sanding 
And what that can sometimes do is leave you with some, some light ring marks. So what I always like to do at the end of every grit, we're still on 320 grit, is do some sanding along the blank as well. And what this will do is it'll just help to remove any of those fine lines that you only notice later on. You really kick yourself about. So having that little bit of attention to detail now will really help with the finished item. And we'll just repeat this process right up to 600 grit. Okay, so now we're finished with the sanding, we can move on to looking at what finish we're gonna put on this pen. Now, lots of people use lots of different finishes. The one we try and promote where we can is a melamine finish. This one's the Chestnut Products version. There's other products on the market as well. Um, we're gonna put it on in fine coats. The main reason for using melamine over anything else is its resistance to oils and moisture that some other products don't have. You will see people put friction polish on, you will see people put wax on. Wax is great for a top coat, but it will come off over time. If you've got a customer that's buying your pen, using a melamine finish or something that's a lot more robust than just a standard wax, is gonna avoid them coming back to you in six months time and saying that their, uh, their pen's lost its finish. So melamine's a really good option to go down. We're gonna put about six to eight coats of melamine lacquer, very thin coats. I'll do a time lapse on it and see what you guys think. Right, so now we've finished putting on the Mellow Man lacquer. Now, you could have put coats on a little bit faster than I've done. I was putting a coat on and then going and packing some orders up and coming back and, and so on. Um, but for you guys, you know, you can do it a little bit quicker than I did it. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna leave this overnight and I'm gonna let it cure because Mellow Man lacquer gets harder over time, which is another quality of it being a pen finish. On the tin, it says from about seven days, I'm gonna leave it overnight. And then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna use Yorkshire Grit Microfine just to take off any of the high spots on the finish. Now, some people recommend denibbing, some people don't denib, um, but we do. We just think if you're gonna put all this time into your pen, then you might as well make it look uh, as best you can. So leave it overnight and I'll see you in the morning. Okay, so we've left this blank overnight. The melamine lacquer is now dried nice and solid. And the last job for us is to denib the finish. Now the denibbing process is literally a very fine abrasive that's going to remove any of the high spots, the very minute high spots that might be on that finish. So what we're going to use for that is we're going to use Yorkshire Grip Microfine on a small piece of, of green paper towel. And we're just going to work that in nice and slowly and that will abrade it down uh, and diminish over time to a point where you've got a really nice, nice finish. the camera down just to show you because it's very difficult to see the, the finish from that angle um, but from this angle you can really see now that it's got a really really nice finish to it and all that Yorkshire grit does is just take off those high spots but it, it really does make all the difference okay so we've reached the assembly stage the first part we're going to assemble is the nib section now the nib barrel the brass tube was the longer of the two brass tubes. And this section takes the nib section and the center band. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna press it together using a, a standard quick grip clamp. There's lots of pen presses on the market. Some are really good and some aren't so great. I've got to say at the moment, I've got one that isn't so great, which is why I'm using the, uh, the quick grip clamp. So just bear with me. So that's that section pressed together. I'm quite happy with that. Slight step maybe. Um, but overall, I'm really happy with how that's come out. Okay, you can see now in this light, the finish that you get from that mellow mine lacquer. Okay, so this section now is almost complete. The only bits we need are the spring, the mechanism, 
from the refill. So what we're going to do, we're going to put the spring on the end of the mechanism, I'm oh, sorry, on the end of the refill, and that's going to go straight into there, just so making sure that it comes out okay. And then the mechanism screws onto that part there. And what you should now have is a nice, clean twist. Okay, the next section we're going to move on to is the cap section. There's only one part to press into this. You can't really go wrong. It can go in at either end. The only thing I would say is that if you want to match your, your, um, your grain up, you might want to consider which end you put your clip at. I just think I would mention about the, the quick grip clamps is that because you've got all this pressure here, you've got a real control of how it goes together. Now, don't get me wrong, there's a potential that this is a little bit Heath Robinson. However, it's not all about going out and buying the most expensive pen press on the market. It's about finding something that works for you and making it affordable for each and every one of us. So like I say, just press that in now. And you can see that closing up ever so gradually. I just keep adjusting it so it's nice and square on the clamp. But that now is all the way in. And that's your finished clip section. All that you simply do then, you slide that section over the mechanism there you are, one finished TM Delta. Takes a Parker refill as opposed to the, the cheap cross refills that you get in some of the slimmer kits. It's an 8mm tube, nice twist. And I'm actually really happy with how that's come out. Thank you so much for watching. I hope the instructions were useful and I didn't bore you too much. The last thing I want to tell you before we go is I want to talk to you about the lathe behind me. Now this lathe in our shop is going to be due to be raffled at the end of this year 2020. We bought it with the sole purpose of raffling it off to raise money for two causes. One is Kirkwood Hospice in, in Huddersfield. Kirkwood Hospice serves Murfield um, and the wider area with exceptional end of life care. We were fortunate that my grandfather got to spend his final few weeks there um, after a battle with, with one of the horrible diseases of the world. Now, talking about horrible diseases in the world, with the current coronavirus pandemic, the lathe was due to travel to three different trade shows this year in with view for us to sell tickets, uh, raffle tickets. Now, so far, one of the three has been cancelled. I'm presuming that at least the second will be cancelled as well. Which leaves us in a situation where we need to sell some more tickets uh, to raise money for these good causes. Now, the raffle is £10 a ticket. The first prize is for this uh, Zebrano ZX600 two horsepower lathe. These lathes are around £5,500 to buy and they're an absolutely stunning lathe. Second prize is a £100 Taylor's Murfield voucher and the third prize is a £50 Taylor's Murfield voucher. If you can and you're in a position to help and support then please consider buying one of our raffle tickets. Thank you so much for watching. Again, any questions, put it in the comments, drop us an email, or pick up the phone. Thank you and have a great day. Thank you.